is up guys welcome back to the channel I just got done with the gym I had a upper body day I really wanted to get another workout in for you guys like recording it James and I but we just haven't had a chance to take Ari to my parents house because um, they just been busy or James schedules just not worked out we are currently three weeks and I think it's two days out. That is just so crazy to think about. I just cannot believe we're already this close. When I started prep January 3rd, it went so fast. I just cannot believe it. And I've, I've actually really enjoyed it. I did half of my cardio. So my cardio is still at 40 minutes, um, like a moderate steady state on the incline on the treadmill or I do my bike um, and I just uh, up the resistance on it and but i've been adding my goodness let me blow me up i've been adding my jump rope challenge in there so last week i started out 500 jumps six days a week and this week is 700 jumps that first week oh my god killed my calves and my legs were so tight and i really think it helped a lot so instead of adding more minutes to my regular cardio i've been doing the jump rope thing and honestly i've been really really enjoying that just got back from sam's uh, just quick grocery haul we got some chicken tenderloins. Chicken is so expensive now. Oh my gosh, I hate it. But chicken tenderloins, two packs. And then James got this. This is actually really, really good chicken. It's already cooked, so you just have to thaw it out and cook it or heat it up really super good. Doesn't even really need any seasoning on it. it has, it's amazing. And then we got some yogurt. This is for our little late night snack that we've been making lately super delicious might show you guys that um we got some seasonings we got garlic parmesan super good on veggies then we got a honey garlic so that's gonna be interesting i want to try that on chicken um peanut butter because i can live off of it these i've showed you before i absolutely love these the only thing is they're um right now since my calories are lower they're harder to fit in, so I don't have them every day because they're a little bit, they're not high in fat, but they're, they take up a lot of my fat still. Like they're like seven grams per serving, which isn't horrible, but when you're kind of low, you know. The broccoli, because we've been filling up on the veggies. Got strawberries, which they smell amazing. This is also for our little snack tonight. Got five pounds of oats because me and Ari eat it every single morning. These are for James. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, I'm just curious what the macros are. Seven fat, 29 carbs. Is, that, is there like two of them in yeah, a two bar? Of, uh, okay. Two per package. So if you ate one bar and then, okay. So yum. Those look good, that'd be a good quick carb. Sweet potatoes, obviously, because I could live off of sweet potatoes as well. Sweet potatoes, peanut butter, and those like um, tomato potatoes or rice cakes, I could live off of just all the carbs. And I think that's it. So we're gonna put these groceries up and we'll catch you guys later. Good timing.
Y'all, I am so excited. We got some packages. This one, I actually want to give away. I'm super freaking excited about this one. Um, so I'll show you guys what it is. I'm so excited. This is gonna be the best, especially since competition is like two weeks away. Hey, don't be minding my own hair right now. I'm supposed to cut it today, so. Ain't nobody was gonna say nothing. I'm just saying guys. to all you guys out there doing the judge. We know. definitely don't care about that right now. We got all that. She got a giveaway, she won it, and yeah, shout out to Sour Strips. Shout out Sending to Sour Strips. Care package. I am so excited about this. We love this candy. Um, so we're not nothing, it's nothing new to us, but yeah. I can't believe I actually won candy. Won that. Ooh, I love the box. The box is freaking yeah, awesome. So we got some stickers. Heck yeah. A little note. And then, oh, we got cotton candy ones. I've tried those. We got cherry, strawberry, pink lemonade, green, apple, um, cotton candy, raspberry, and uh, mango. So it looks like, oh, and rainbow. So it looks like almost almost oh, all the flavors yeah. there's some um other ones that i know are in there but i'm super excited super grateful for sasha for sending me this question um, is is she gonna share with me for real um i might not i want to try this since they're only one of each flavor i'm probably not gonna share Man. <laughs> i'm just kidding i might share i haven't tried that one and no i think we've tried all of them yeah, like, besides this yeah one. i've had all of them just go that one. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but I love cotton candy flavored things, so you might get like a piece. <laughs> we'll see. Super excited. I love this box. So, anyway, thank you, Sour Strips, for sending this. We're going to use this as a post workout, not post workout. Well, maybe that too. Pre workout, post workout, pump up. Pump up. Pump up carbs. And. I'm gonna try to eat just two of them, but we'll see. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. I will kind of wait until the last minute for these. I hope they fit, but these, nothing nothing crazy. These are just new competition hills. My current hair, hills are gonna fall apart. And these ones I'm excited for because they are a little bit shorter of a hill because my other hills, they're like, I think five and a half inches or six and a half or something. And I'm since I'm really small anyway, they make me look tall and skinny. So with the shorter heel, I'm hoping it has a little bit more of an illusion where I'm not as tall and skinny. But yeah, let's check these out. Ooh, Another one's about to fall apart. I don't know if I said that. Here they are. Oh, you can tell. Let me grab the other one so you can. You see what I'm at? So here is. Here's my old ones, you can tell, about to fall apart. And here is my shorter ones, or my, here's my newer ones. These are shorter of a hill, more. You can actually tell the hill difference. It's like supposed to be like an inch, I think. An inch different, Different. so. I think these are gonna be way better. So I'm probably gonna have to break these in. What size are you getting these? Sevens. So they should. They're both sevens, but this one has a shorter hill. So I'm excited to practice my posing in these. Hopefully that'll make a big difference on my balance. Eat them. Anyway, super excited about the sour strips. Thank you again, sour strips. And we're probably gonna buy some more. So, <laughs> test out how these feel and um, kind of how they look because they're probably gonna need broken a little bit. I'm like a villain. But like barely. My hand is bad. Look. These are almost too small. Like, look at this. I think they'll work. Um, when this like stretches out, my foot can go down a little further. But they're like almost, almost too small. Damn, I hate that. They don't have half sizes. So I hate to go up in a full size. But we're gonna see. Might just have to have a... <laughs> Might have to wing it. Uh oh. They're actually really... I like them. They actually, besides them almost being too small, they actually feel really good. Like, I feel like the size is actually pretty good. They're super easy to walk in. Uh, yeah, they feel a hundred times better than those ones. And they're like an inch smaller, so I like them, actually. Cool. And... I think it can make a big difference. The only thing that I'm going to buy is some board shorts. 
that'll match your suit. If I can find them. But if I don't, then I just wear what I got. Because I got like three pair already. My turn. But we also got our tan in. We are doing our tan ourselves this time. So a little scared, but I think we're fine with it. Um, honestly, I think it's gonna be a little less stressful because then we don't have to get naked in front of anybody but each other. And obviously we've done that before. <laughs> so here it is, the whole kit. So this should be able to do us both, plus save some for our next show. It has um, hair removal, it has a exfoliator, has the base coat, top coat, and the show shine. Um, and then the little mitts and everything. So super excited to give Protan a try. Um, our first competition, we used a different company and then they did it at the competition. So we'll see. Protan is supposed to be very respected. Um, so excited to try them out. All right, so right now we're gonna go for another run. Uh, we are, what, T minus two weeks and two days out. So. So crazy, because our last vlog we just posted it was like five weeks out. I yeah. didn't know we were that behind on posting vlogs. <laughs> well. So if you see that, it's just because we posted it late. Yeah, so we're about to go get another run in and go from there. Got the little munchkin right here. Can't really run with our dog, so that's what we're about to do. I don't know how long we're gonna run, but. I got a 30 minutes to finish cardio, so I'm, I don't know if I'll do it all in this session or maybe some of it later on my bike or something. Depends, we'll see. We'll see. Catch y'all after. Chicken. Mm. Chicken sausage, broccoli and cheese. Regular grilled chicken, broccoli and cheese. But he's got double. His actually looks better. I'm jealous. Ooh, yeah. What's up guys? It has been a few days since we last vlogged. Ari and I just got back from our run. Oh, I had, it took me everything to get through that. Um, I just did half my cardio. Um, I had 30 minutes later, but it's not as intense. I am freaking beat. So it's taking everything out of me just to do simple chores like laundry, uh, which who wants to do that anyway? It took everything in me to just put a load of laundry in the washing machine. Like, that was hard. <laughs> and I've been trying to do like little tasks around the house, but it's just like I had no energy to do it. But I don't want to just sit on the couch and do nothing and be on my phone all day because I'm on it way too much as it is. But then anytime I come to the kitchen, somebody, She, okay. For some reason, every time I come to the kitchen, she loses her damn mind. Like, she will not let me like cook or anything in here. I don't know what the deal is, but if I'm in the living room, she minds her business, plays with her toys. As soon as I come in the kitchen, all hell breaks loose. Highly do not recommend prepping with the toddler. 
especially if you and your husband are both prepping at the same time, just don't do it. Do not recommend at all. To be completely honest, if we were further out than just less than two weeks, I probably would not go through with it. I am just to that point. I'm just so mentally over it. I'm excited, don't get me wrong. I am excited that it's less than two weeks away, but I am so mentally over it. Like just with a toddler, it's so hard. I just did not know what I was getting myself into. And then these last two weeks have just been really wild. So James went out of town and Friday when I got to the gym, I did 20 minutes of cardio. Then he calls me and tells me that he looked at the message wrong and he had to be there earlier. So I had to come home um, early for my workout and I didn't get to work out all weekend. And I finally got to go yesterday, but it just felt rushed because we had a storm coming and I didn't want to be at the gym when we had severe storms. But I am sorry, I'm not trying to complain. Like I'm very um, grateful and stuff that I actually get the opportunity to do this. I'm just tired and I'm hungry. But tomorrow is a refeed day, so I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, it's been rough. It's been really rough, not ideal, because I like to go to the gym like around 11 a.m. But when James works this schedule, I don't get to go till like closer to seven in the afternoon, which is so late, I hate it. But God, we, we've been doing it. Gotta do what you gotta do, it'll be worth it. But like I said, I'm not trying to complain, I'm just, I just wanted to be real. I just want to be transparent and show you guys that it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Um, it's hard, but I think it'll be worth it. But anyway, besides that, um, I feel pretty decent. I think I, I think we're getting somewhere with the physique. Um, I am to the point where we are like a week and a half out. And I'm just to the point where I feel like I did pretty much all I could do. Obviously, I'm not gonna like slack off now, but I think you know what I mean. Like, I've done everything. There's not too much more I can do in a week and a half to change my physique. I think I'm okay with it. Um, my body likes to hold a lot of water though, so probably going to have to cut some water which I was hoping not to, but I might have to. We'll see. Anyway, I will go over the game plan with you guys next video. When James gets home, I'm gonna have him tell you guys how he is feeling, and then we'll probably end this vlog here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry it was everywhere, but. All right, so since she said what she needed to say, as far as like how she feel, this is how I feel. Mainly, um, I just feel like I'm holding a lot of water right now, so I'm trying to get that out of my system because I just feel so bloated right now and it just depends on how much water I can really push out of my system because I feel full. Other than that, I mean, other than everything else feels fine. I look fine. Um, I just feel like my personally, from my point of view, I feel like I have too much water on me right now. So I just need to get that out, dry out a little bit more. Um, other than that, man, a uh, week and a half left. And, and with me holding water, I think mainly it's because I just got back this weekend from a business trip. And so me traveling and, you know, driving a lot, it kind of just, you know, traveling automatically makes you hold water. So that's why this is actually my first cardio, not really first cardio session. I've done cardio, but it wasn't like my main cardio. So I was really strict over that past weekend, but still just the whole traveling part makes you hold water a lot more. And so once I get back into this hour of cardio, like I am for the next week and a half, not even week and a half, but maybe for the next week, and then start tying down, kind of let my body rest because I don't want to be so sore before the show or at the show. And so I think that that water will strip off really good. But other than that, that's what I'm about to do. I have another session right now, um, just 20 minutes. I might do 30, but it's called for 20, but we'll see. So that's what I'm about to do right now. 